Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've done a sit down talking video with you guys, so I decided to do the closet confidential tag and I just recently came across it and I was watching like a marathon of these videos last night. So I decided to do it myself and nobody tagged me or anything. You guys can do it too if you want to. So I tag all of you and I'll tag a couple of my friends in the description box. So I actually don't have my entire wardrobe with me because most of it is back at home in Minnesota and I only brought what I thought I needed to LA. So I only have about like honestly like 15% of my entire wardrobe. I will work with what I have here. So the first question is what is the oldest item in your closet? And I have a lot of things that I've kept from a long time ago just because I have hoarding tendencies. Yes, I admit it. One of them has to be these bad boys right here. And um, these were originally some really cool Hollister jeans. I believe I was in ninth grade when I got these originally and I remember when I got them because they were my first pair of Hollister jeans and it was a really big deal. You were like really cool to have these jeans and they didn't fit me. They sit really low on my waist and they were way too long and I don't know, I never ever wore them as jeans and I just kept them forever. So I ended up unearthing these jeans like maybe like a year or two ago and I decided to cut the um, pant legs off of them and love them now. I've actually worn them a bunch um, and they're just so comfortable. They're just so worn and old to the point where um, they're so soft, almost like pajama shorts. I'm not kidding you. I've definitely worn these in videos in the past and someone always asks where they're from and I'm always like a little bit embarrassed to be like, oh, those are my Hollister jeans, you know, from ninth grade. Next question is what is the newest item in my closet and that is easy because I just got back from York and I did a little bit of shopping while I was there but I picked this little like peasant top up from there and I thought it was really cute it is really wrinkly right now because I literally just took it out of my luggage I just got back recently but if you look into my wardrobe you will notice very casual kind of edgy pieces or there's very bohemian kind of style things because those are my two like go-to styles in the summer when it warms up I really like to reach for like boho inspired looks and clothes so I just thought this was really cute and it's very very comfortable it's very lightweight next is what is the most expensive item in your closet and I don't honestly have a ton of very expensive pieces I don't usually splurge on clothing at all because I don't choose to spend that much on um, comfortable casual clothing every now and then I might get like something special with that said my most expensive item in my closet is an accessory item and it is this guy right here this is the LV um, monogram Vernice it's just a patent leather wallet I've had this for quite some time now. It's been several years. I did get this as a gift and I believe this color was a limited edition color because it's not available online anymore. The wallet itself is still available but I didn't see this color. I do love the color of it. It's in this like gorgeous teal with the gold hardware on it. I love this wallet because it has so many compartments in it and it's got like a zipper inside. It's nice and long that you can put cash and your checkbook and whatnot. It makes it really easy to organize my things and I love that there is a zipper on it and I use this wallet with all of my bags. Sometimes if I'm going out I will just grab this and I'm ready to go. The wallet itself is currently $970 or $980 and I did get this as a gift so I don't know how much it was like a couple years ago when I did receive it. Okay so next is what is the cheapest most affordable item that you wear and use a lot and that has to be these jeggings right here and I know you guys have seen these before because I wear them so ridiculously much. These are from Macy's. They are part of the Material Girl line. It's one of the few things that I own from Macy's because I just don't shop there very often. But these were so ridiculously cheap. They were on clearance um, for like $5. They're really, really stretchy um, and they are very distressed. As you guys can see, there's just holes running all through the leg. And then um, they have zippers down at the ankle. They're just so comfortable. They are very, very tight fitting. Um, they're an extra small, but I like that about them and the fact that they are very, very stretchy makes them comfortable to wear. I wear them with heels or I will wear them to a picnic or the park, whatever. I'm sure you guys are like so sick of seeing them in videos and pictures and whatnot, but it's just like my go-to pair of jeans that goes with everything. I will wear them all 
year round. I don't even care if people do not like them because they're so distressed. And um, they've even started to fade. They were jet black when I got them. Moving on, the next question is what was the biggest bargain? And that is too easy for me to answer. I am a self-proclaimed bargain hunter when it comes to shopping and I came across this gem of a find many years ago. I don't even know how long ago, like four or five years ago. So I found these boots at Old Navy when I was looking for some cheap $1 flip flops that they usually carry and it just so happened that obviously it was getting warmer around that time and all of their like winter stuff was getting marked down for clearance and I came across these bad boys which were on super clearance they were marked down to five whole buckaroos so I immediately got these because at the time, tall cognac boots were really, really popular and trendy and everyone and their mother had a pair. So I was just really, really excited that I found a pair for $5. Who finds boots, like brand new boots, for $5? So I got them and I wore the life out of them. I wore them all the time with every single thing that I owned because they were so comfortable. They're just like flat boots. And I believe originally they were like $30 or $40. I got them for $5. And I brought them to LA even though I don't wear them very much at all anymore. I don't remember the last time I did wear them. But it's just so hard for me to part with them because I did love them so much at one time. The next question is what was the biggest waste of money? Being the clothing hoarder that I am, there's just way too much stuff in my closet that has been a waste of money because I don't need it and I just can't help myself from getting it. But when I look into my closet, I know exactly what answers this question. So let me tell you first about a little problem that I have. Every time I go shopping and I come across this like really fun and glamorous party dress, I have it in my head that I need to have it. I don't know how to walk away from a awesome fitting and awesome looking party dress so obviously I go and buy it and I end up buying a lot so to answer the question what is the biggest waste of my money in my wardrobe is the plethora of party dresses that I have accumulated over the years this is just a fraction of what I have back at home because this is all I have room for there's just no reason on earth for why I have so many of these party dresses and you will actually see that most of them have their tags on them because I have yet to wear most of these and that is why they are the biggest waste of my money and I don't know how it is that I continue to buy these party dresses I just need a reason to wear them so the last question is a bonus question that I think Estee or Estee Button added onto this tag and it is my three favorite items right now and the first one has got to be this top that I also got while I was in New York it's from Brandy Melville it's really long very comfortable loose fitting knit top it kind of reminds me of like a guy's shirt or something like something your boyfriend would have I just like to throw this on on my lazy days which let's be honest is like every day it's so soft I love this top and the next thing I'm loving is this tank top right here I wore this in a previous video it's from Zara and I just love that it's very simple it's like a very delicate spaghetti strap black tank it's got like a sheer panel in the front and I actually think it's kind of sexy because it is so simple and it's very comfortable and my third item might be kind of silly to some people but they are socks and these are my little sushi socks they have like little sushi printed on them and they're so freaking cute um, I got these at Forever 21 and I've been obsessed with them it pretty much opened like a new can of worms for cute socks for me now I'm just obsessed with finding like cute little socks does that make me sound like a child I just think they're really cute and they make me really happy so that's why I like them so that is everything that I had I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to do this tag make sure to leave it as a video response because I want to check it out and make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys next time bye